Welcome to our new math tutorial video. So we have here solving logarithmic equations. In solving logarithmic equations, we will still follow our property of uh, logarithm, which is log base b of x is equal to y. So we're in letter y is the exponent of the exponent of base b which is equal to x so therefore our property can also be written as uh, base to the exponent is equal to x or b to the y power is equal to x okay so example so example here we have here uh, log base 2 of 3x minus 5 is equal to 4. In this given logarithmic equation, we will consider 4 as our exponent and we have 2 as our base and we have 3x minus 5 as our letter x. This logarithmic equation can be written in the form of b to the y power is equal to x can be written as 2 as our base to the fourth power as our exponent is equal to 3x minus 5 as our equivalent. So in this given part of the solution, we are able now to solve for the unknown variable which is x and that will be solved as 2 to the fourth power so ang ating 2 to the fourth power ay equivalent sa 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and that's, that is equal to 2 times 2 we have 4 times 2 8 times 2 is 16 so we have here uh, 16 is equal to 3x minus 5 and then using transposition method so we will transpose negative 5 to the other side of our equation and that will give us 16 plus 5 is equal to 3x and then 16 plus 5 16 plus 5 is 21 is equal to 3x and then to remove 3 we will divide both side by 3 so cancel 3 and may iwanan si x and 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7 x is equal to 7 so to check if our solution is correct we will just substitute our answer which is x is equal to 7 to our original logarithmic equation and that is we will have our checking so that is log of base 2 of 3x minus 5 is equal to 4 so we have here uh, 3 so we have 3 times 7 minus 5 is equal to 4 so 3 times 7 we have 21 minus 5 is equal to 4 and that is 21 minus 5 so we have here 16 is equal to 4 so ibalik lang natin yung ating log 2 so log 2 log b 
base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. So, if our given logarithmic equation will be written in the form of exponential form, which is b to the y power is equal to x, so that will become 4 to the second power is equal to 16. And 4 to the second power is 16 is equal to 16. So therefore, our answer which is 7 is correct. So let's have our next example. So we have here log base 4 of x minus 4 is equal to 2. So again, so we have 2 will represent our y, then we have x minus 4 will represent our x, and we have 4 will represent our b. So expressing our logarithmic equation in exponential form, which is b to the y power is equal to x. So that will be 4 to the second power is equal to x minus 4. So solving our equation, we have 4 to the second power and that is 16 is equal to x minus 4. So we will transpose negative 4 to the other side of our equation and that will be uh, 16 plus 4 is equal to x and 16 plus 4 is equal to 20 which is the equivalent of x. So if we will check our answer, so that will be log base 4 of x minus 4 is equal to 2. So we have here uh, x will be replaced by 20. So we have 20 minus 4 is equal to 2. And 20 minus 4 is 16 is equal to 2. Then, ibalik natin ang ating logarithm, which is log 4. So, log of base 4, or log base 4 of 16 is equal to 2. So, we have here 4 to the second power is equal to 16. So, 4 to the second power is 16 is equal to 16. Okay, so let's have our next example. So let's have here log base 5 of 4x plus 5 is equal to 3. So expressing that in exponential form, that will be base, which is 5, raised to the exponent of 3, is equal to 4x plus 5. So 5 to the third power is 5 times 5 times 5, and that is 125, is equal to 4x plus 5. And then 125. So move 5 to the other side of the equation, that will be minus 5 is equal to 4x. Then 125 minus 5 is equal to 120 is equal to 4x over 4 to remove 4 and then over 4 also. So cancel 4. So we have x will be equivalent to 120 divided by 4, and that is 30. So the equivalent of x is equal to 30. Okay, so for our checking, so we have log base 5 of 4x plus 5. is equal to 3. 
So we have 4x, so we have 4 times 30 plus 5 is equal to 3. And 4 times 30 is 120 plus 5, we have 125 is equal to 3. So we have log 5. Log base 5 of 125 is equal to 3. So by converting that in exponential form, you have 5 to the third power is equal to 125. And 5 to the third power is 125 is equal to 125. Okay, proceed. Let's have another one. So let's have here, let's have here log 10 of 3x plus 5 is equal to 2. So we have, uh, by converting our logarithmic equation into exponential form, that will become 10 to the second power is equal to 3x plus 5. So that will be 100 is equal to 3x plus 5. And that will be 100 minus 5 is equal to 3x. And 100 minus 5 is 95 is equal to 3x over 3 over 3. So our x will be equivalent to 95 over 3. So if we will do our checking, so that will be 3 times 95 over 3 plus 5 is equal to 2. So cancel 3, cancel 3, that will be 95 plus 5, that will be 100. So log 10 of 100 is equal to 2. So that will be 10 squared is equal to 100. So 100 is equal to 100. Okay, let's have another one. Log base 2 of x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 2. So in this case, we have a quadratic equation. So pag binalikan natin yung algebra, kapag quadratic equation yan, kailangan nating mag-factor ng ating polynomial. At magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang sagot. Okay, so let's convert first our given logarithmic equation into exponential form. So we have 2, which is the base. So galing si 2 dito. And then, to the second power. So yung second power naman natin ay galing sa y. And then we will have our letter x, which is our quadratic equation. So it's equal to x squared minus x minus 2. So, ang ating 2 to the second power is equivalent to 4 is equal to x squared minus x minus 2. So, we will just move 4 to the other side of the equation. And that will be uh, x squared minus x minus 2. minus 4. So we have x squared minus x minus 6 will be equated to 0 for the standard form of a quadratic equation. So now, in solving for the value of x, we will factor our given quadratic equation. So if a factor natin ng x squared minus x minus 6, so, ilipat lang natin dito yung kasunod.
So, meron tayong dalawang factor. So, x squared is a product of x times x. And then, para makuha natin yung next term natin for our factor, we will consider the last term which is negative 6. Iko consider natin ng negative 6. So, iisip tayo ng factor ni negative 6. So, which are negative 2 times 3, negative 3 times 2, negative 6 times 1, negative 1 times 6. So, ito yung mga factor natin. Pipiliin mo dyan sa mga factors na yan, alin ba dito yung kapag inad natin ang magiging sagot negative 1, yung ating middle term. Okay? Alin ba sa mga factor na to na kapag inad natin ang sagot yung middle term natin? So, that will be kapag inad natin ang negative 2 plus 3, so negative 2 plus 3, ang sagot dyan is positive 1. Pag inad natin ang negative 3 plus 2, negative 3 plus 2, ang sagot dyan ay negative 1. So, definitely, ito na yung answer natin. Ang gagamitin natin is negative 3 plus negative 3 and 2. Pero subukan pa rin natin i-add yung iba. So, ang negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Ang negative 1 plus 6 ay positive 5. So, we will use negative 3 and 2 as our factor. So, that will be x minus 3 at saka x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, equate natin both factor to 0. So, x minus 3 equals 0. So, that will be x is equal to 3. So, ayan yung isang sagot natin. Kabila naman. So, we have x plus 2 equal 0. So, that will be x is equal to negative 2. So, our value of x in this given example are 3 and negative 2. So, ibig sabihin, kahit na anong gamitin natin dyan, either 3 or negative 2, magtatama yung sagot niyan. Okay? Kahit alin dyan, magtatama yung sagot. So, let's try to do the checking. So, we have... 3 and negative 2 as our value of x. So, let's have again our original logarithmic equation which is uh, log 2. So, log base 2 of x squared minus x minus 2 is equal to 2. So, ang naging equivalent answer natin are uh, x is equal to 3, at saka yung isa ay x is equal to negative 2. So, let's try to check both of our given answers. So, we have here, so palitan natin si x ng 3. So, 3 squared minus 3 minus 2 is equal to 2. 3 squared is 9 minus 3 minus 2. So, 9 minus 3 is 6 minus 2 is 4 is equal to 2. Ibabalik ko lang si log. So, we have log 2. So, convert into uh, exponential form to the second. 2 to the second power is equal to 4. So, that will be 4 is equal to 4. Okay, correct. So, we have negative 2 to the second power minus negative 2 minus 2 is equal to 2. So, negative 2 times negative 2, we have 4. Negative times negative, we have positive. And then 2 minus 2 is equal to 2. 4 plus 2, 6 minus 2, 4. So we have 4 is equal to 2. Babalik ko lang uli yung log. So we have log 2. So log base 2 of 4 is equal to 2. So we have here 2 squared is equal to 4. So 4 is equal to 4. So that will be our checking. So, the answer will be equal. 4 is equal to 4. Okay, let's have another one. Let's have here log base 10 of x squared plus 36 is equal to 2. Okay, so this example will be left for you to answer. So, please write your answer on the comment box. So, give the value of x. 
Okay, so that will be all for now. So have a nice day.